To understand the difference between heterogeneous and homogeneous, we'll take a look at the definitions for each, some examples, and then give you some practice to make sure you get it. So for heterogeneous, we're talking about something that's not uniform. It's unevenly distributed. That means it's kind of in clumps. For homogeneous, though, it's the same throughout. It has a uniform composition. So if we look at this beaker below, it has rocks in it, pebbles. Right now, it's just rocks and pebbles. But if we add water to it, we'll have a mixture, two different substances. And the question is, is it heterogeneous or homogeneous? Because the rocks are all clumped together at the bottom and the water, it's the top and it's between the rocks, we say that the beaker with water and rocks, that's heterogeneous. Even if we shake it up, we can't evenly distribute those rocks throughout the water. They always fall to the bottom. We could drop sugar cubes in, but it would still be heterogeneous because they're all clumped together as well. They're not evenly distributed throughout the water. But if we shook it up, stirred it up, then the sugar would dissolve. And then the sugar water, just the sugar water, that would be homogeneous because it would be uniform in its composition, distributed evenly throughout. So let's try some examples. Make sure you understand this. So pause and think about this. What about air? Is it heterogeneous or homogeneous? So air is made up of a mixture of gases. It's mostly nitrogen, N2, and then a good bit, about 21% O2, and then there's some CO2 and some argon. But these gases are all mixed up. They're evenly distributed in air. We don't have nitrogen on this part, and then over here, oxygen. It's all spread out evenly. So air is homogeneous. Let's try another. How about a delicious salad? Since we have things separate in clumps, we have our cucumbers, some croutons here, and then we have, say, some cheese. It's all in clumps. We say that salad is heterogeneous. How about smoke? In this picture, you might argue that the smoke is kind of together and then the air is by itself, so this would be heterogeneous because it's clumped together. If we waited a while, though, the air would spread out, evenly distribute itself, and would become homogeneous. So you can kind of argue either way for this picture. Let's do one more. This one's a bit tough. Blood. Right away, when we look at this picture, we see that they're in separate clumps, a red blood cell. We have a white blood cell. Because they're separate in clumps, we would say that it's heterogeneous. But if we had a test tube of blood and we looked at it, it would look pretty evenly distributed. So you might say that on a more macroscopic, a larger scale, blood is homogeneous. But if you look at it under a microscope, it does appear to be heterogeneous. So to recap, heterogeneous just means it's clumped together. It's not evenly distributed like our rocks in the bottom of our beaker with water. Homogeneous, that would be smoother, more spread out, a uniform composition, like our sugar dissolved in water. This is Dr. B with the difference between heterogeneous and homogeneous. Thanks for watching.